you go. Hi. Today I'll be talking about types of sports injuries and the different types. There is hard tissue damage and soft tissue damage. But first I'll be talking about hard tissue damage. Hard tissue damage is injury for bones, joints and cartilage. Fractures. Fracture is a complete or partial break within the bone. Sorry, I don't have a picture to show you. The treatments for fractures kind of depend, varying on the category of how bad the injury is. There are two types of fractures, an open and a closed fracture. An open fracture is where the bone fractures and cuts through the skin which requires immediate attention, which may result in infection, if not attended to as quickly as possible. A closed fracture is where there is this, a displacement of the bone within the tissue surrounding the bone. However, this type of fracture doesn't tear or rip through skin. A complete and incomplete fracture. A complete fracture is where there is a complete break within the bone. An incomplete fracture is where there is a partial crack in the bone, but it does not crack the full length of the bone. Dislocation. A dislocation injury is where the bone moves out of its normal position due to a sudden impact. This occurs with joints. Examples of this are the shoulder, knee and elbow. A stress factor. This type of injury doesn't specifically occur by a collision or direct impact. It develops through a period of time due to overuse and fatigue. Shin spins. This type of injury is caused to the tibia, which is also known as the shin bone. This is caused by inflammation to the... Does anyone know how to say this word? I do. I just said it. Go on, go on. Perostium. This is common to runners to pick up this type of injury. Soft tissue damage. Injury to the muscles, tendons, ling ligaments, internal organs and skin. Hematoma. Is a bruising where there is. Is a bruising where there are lots of feeling occurs within a certain area of the body due to it being a bruise. I'm sure many of us might have had this in our life. An abrasion. Is a wound caused by damage to the skin, occurring with rough contact, which causes grinding away and rubbing away of the upper layers of the epidermis, which is the top of the skin. A strain, stretching and tearing of a muscle or tendon. A sprain, which is right, the same thing, stretching or tearing of one of or more ligaments. Strains involve muscular tissue and sprains ligamentous tissue, which are both resulting in discomfort and pain, loss of function, swelling and bruising. Concussion is a traumatic brain injury which alters the way your brain functions. The effects are usually temporary but can cause headaches and problems with concentration, memory, balance and coordination. Tendonitis. This is inflammation of the tendon, usually resulting from overuse associated with a change in playing surface, footwear, or intensity of an activity. This could occur in such exercises like running, jumping, and dancing. Tendon rupture. I know of you over there, sir. You've had a tendon rupture recently. Oh, good. Sorry, The tearing of a tendon causes the tearing of a tendon that occurs when the forces placed upon the tendon exceeds its strength. This can occur when the tendon has been overused. A blister is a a blister is a small bubble under the skin caused by friction, burning or other damage.
this can often occur sometimes within football or other sports which need a lot of running. A cramp is involuntary pain within the muscles. This can occur due to a lot of excess usage of that muscle. Tennis elbow. The elbow becomes inflamed due to an overuse of the forearm muscles. A way to reduce, reduce this is to let the muscles rest. Back pain. I know you have back pain, sir. That's why you're standing up right now, holding your back. Back pain occurs when the pain is felt from either the muscles, nerves, bones, or joints within the back. The pain can also be spread to other parts of the back. I know it's just bad here, but it's not bad. Cartilage damage. Cartilage damage occurs as a result of the direct blow. Do you know what cartilage does, sir? You seem to have your hand up. A cartilage sits between joints or bones and acts as a shock absorber and allows for cushion between the joints when assisting with weight-bearing activities. Friction burns. Friction burns occur as a result of rough contact between the upper layers of the epidermis, which is the skin again, and smooth hard surface, which can cause skin to burn. First aid. I'm sure a lot of you here have been first aid training. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I mean, yeah we what have. was it like when you did your first aid training? It wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. How long did it take? Three, four days. Yeah. How about you, sir? You had any? Yeah, didn't mind it one day. Yeah, sweet. Let's get on with the first yeah. yeah. Priorities. Get your priorities straight that like you need to. After an injury occurs, you need to put what needs to be put first. Mm-hmm. Stopping at the scene of an injury, assessing how bad the injury is, and seeing what needs to happen after. Resuscitation. Restarting breathing and circulation after it has been stopped. Shock. There are two types of shock in sport, physically and mentally. Where the heart can't maintain blood pressure properly, and mentally where the injured party can be infected after the incident. Bleeding. Small blood vessels are opened up which cause bleeding within the tissue. This is to help in aid recovery. Unconscious. After a collision, a person can be knocked out, not being awakened, aware of the environment surrounding them. Casualty. A person can be badly affected by an event or situation which may happen in the event of a collision. Fractures, I've already spoken about fractures, a heavy collision which can break or crack a bone. Summoning qualified assistance. Getting the required professional assistance after an event has occurred. Accident report forms. Note down what has happened for future references. Common treatments. We're also going to be going on to an acronym. Also known as Price. 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 Price? Yeah, Price. I thought it different, but yeah, P is for protection. Protecting the injured person and the error being treated. But you also must protect yourself. If the injury was on a sports field, stop the game. Protect the area being treated. Protect the person being treated. With a split if possible. Rest. Allow time for the injury to heal. Being brave and playing through the pain is not any good. It just may make things worse, causing you to become re injured again. To ensure rehabilitation time. Ice. Applying ice from a freezer will help reducing the inflammation. Compression. Compression of the swollen area will help to reduce swelling. You should use a bandage if possible to help restrict movement, but not to restrict movement fully. Elevation. Elevating the injured area so that it is above the heart. Elevate the injured area 
So that is a bump. Wait, we're going to go in. We're going to go to the next one. Salt taps. Stopping if a player goes down is what you should do first of all to assess the injury. A. Ask the player what has happened and how they may feel. L. Look at the injured limbs for obvious signs of injury. Sometimes it may not be obvious, but you're going to have to look. Bleeding, bruising, swelling and deformity can be spotted when looking. T. Touching the injured player, touching the injured side in fact, will let you know where the injury is. Gently touch the pain of where the injury may be caused to assess how bad the limb injury is. A. Active movement. Can the player move the limb with or without pain? Passive movement. If A, the active movement, applies move the limb or joint to a full extent and note down reaction, X, stand up. <coughs> so, you know, is the player up and running or rather trying to run it off? Whatever the case is, keep a close eye and take the player off if in doubt. This is designed in order to support the sprains and strains as well as joints that may be weak. Splints is to help with the mobilization of damaged joints or broken bones, which can help support during physical activity. Hot or cold treatments. Both of these types of treatments are used to reduce the response to injury, which has been caused pain sprains. This relieves acute or chronic pain within the muscular skeletal system. It also fastens muscle recovery after full exertion. Limb supports. A device which is used to support the limb, allowing it for mobilization. Electrotherapy. This is used for soft tissue injuries. It's also used to increase blood flow to the injured area reducing inflammation and increasing pain.